Hey, it's the Midnight Raven, and with allergies trying to kill me, I am going to show you the teeny beanie babies I got from the classic car show that I went to recently, and I bought 12 teeny beanie babies, and we're going to take a look at them. So if you're new to my channel, welcome, I am the Midnight Raven. If you're not new, thank you for coming back. I went to a classic car show, the video will be linked up here. Um, they had stalls, food, entertainment, and then they had like a little car boot section. So I went to the little car boot section, there was this dear old lady, had all these teeny weeny beeny babies uh, that were done by McDonald's uh, during the 90s. And most of these were retired in 1999. And, and there's a beanie Wikipedia, I will link it down below, where you can go see all of them. And look at anything that's ever been made by TY. These ones were made especially for McDonald's. So I paid £20 for the whole lot. Uh, they were three for a fiver, and she must have had like a hundred pounds worth, but I, I stopped at £20 because, because I didn't have any more cash on me. Um, but I show you this one in a previous video, just showcasing, you see here, what I got from the classic car show and I got this entire bag of teeny weeny beanie babies so the first one we picked up and these are all from McDonald's and these is the teeny beanie babies rocket blue jay so I showed this in the previous video to give you a little snippet of what I picked up so these were mostly uh, retired in 1999 they were showcased for McDonald's in collaboration and I believe these were in Happy Meals. So we've got the little blue jay. Excuse any dirt on them. They were literally sitting um virtually in the dirt uh because it was a car boot so it was a lot of dirt, a lot of mess and it was held in a field. Uh the next one I picked up was this crab one. If you not new to my channel you'll know I love the beach, the seaside and a crab is one of my favourite sea creatures. And this is Claude the Crab. If you want to check out things like dates of birth, when they were retired, you go to the Beanie Wikipedia, which I will link, and you can go there. You can register to all your Beanie Babies. You can put a gift list of what Beanie Babies you'd like to get. Um, and then you've got Teeny Beanie Babies or actual genuine Beanie Babies, which aren't the ones in collaboration with McDonald's. Uh, so I got this one, and I found it was a very different colour crab. You know, most people, when they think of a crab, they do them a brown colour, they do them a bright orange colour, and they went for something completely different. But they have their tags, and they have their little tags as well. Okay, the next TY we have is Strut the Rooster. Now Strut the Rooster was one of the harder ones to get apparently. Um, Strut was very sought after and I can see why. He's a lovely specimen. I mean who doesn't like chicken? I mean I don't eat chicken but I like chicken as in the animals. Um, but he's got this little tag and then he's got his little tag on his bum so I like how they still all had their tags and they still had all their tickets on their bum and everything and you've got all the details on there made in China lovely uh, like most of them but you've got your little TY sticker as well okay the next one we have was Nook or Nook I think it says Nook Nook the Husky unfortunately this one was written on, which was kind of disappointing but it's uh, Nook the Wolf and he is kind of cute. I like how they're flat. So you can put them like hanging over a windowsill. Um, you can somewhat like, if you wanted to stand them up, you can somewhat get them to stand. Um, I thought he was just cute. Uh, he's got his little tag as well. There's his tag up there. Okay, the next one was the first one that caught my eye. And it was the ostrich. And this is Stretchy the ostrich. Um, so I actually have another TY one. Which is, I think, I think it was called Orson. And it's one that's got like um, really glittery eyes. A great big bouffant hair. 
and it's a bigger version, it's like a massive one. Um, and this is St Stretchy the Ostrich, and I thought it was so cute. It was the first one that caught my eye when I was looking at all of them. Uh, they've got their both their tags as well, which is really cool, and it's kind of in mint condition. This one was not played with, if played with at all. But, I mean, look, you just get him to sit there with his little legs and just, you know, hang out. Okay. Next. Now, this was an interesting one. So, this is the frog. Now, the frog is called Smoochie. Hence, like, the prince and the pea, the, the frog smooched the princess. But the tag is wrong. And the tag says Freckles the Leopard. So it has the wrong tag. Now, I don't know if that makes it more valuable if it has a wrong tag. But this is Smoochie the Frog. And it has a tag for Freckles the Leopard, which there were leopards in the basket where I bought these from. But this tag is quite clearly attached to this frog. Um, but his name is Smoochie. And he was retired also in 1999. But he has a wrong tag. So I don't know if that makes him valuable. Because he has a wrong tag. Someone let me know down below. If it makes him valuable. The tag is wrong. I don't know. Next we had another one that caught my eye. And look at this adorable one. This is Nuts the Squirrel. Oh my god, look at him, he's got his little bouffant tail there, he's got both his tags, and this tag is correct, although it is scribbled on, unfortunately her kids did like to play with pens apparently, but I thought he was cute, and he's going to go into my little collection that I am now starting, I don't know, I thought they were cute, I'd love to collect them, I've always had a thing for collecting stuff okay the next one that also caught my eye and these were the first three i picked up was the squirrel the ostrich and this one and this is antsy the ant eater so you don't honestly get many ant eater toys i honestly can't say unless you're going to somewhere like maybe bannam zoo in the uk you're not going to find ant eater toys because they're just not something you see in the UK. Obviously, anteaters don't originate in the UK. But him and his colours. And he's called Antsy because obviously anteaters, they're primarily an anteater. But he was adorable, cute. He's got his little tag there and his other little TY tag. So him and the squirrel and the ostrich were the first three I picked up. Okay, next we have an elephant. And this is Peanut. And this is another teeny beanie babies from McDonald's. I believe these are all McDonald's ones. Again, he's got both tags. And he is in relatively somewhat clean. He's got a bit of grass on him. Uh, clean. His tag is correct. It does say peanut. Um, and there are a couple of colours of the elephants. Apparently there was a blue one. I think there was a pink one. But this is this one. But I like how they could just sit there on the windowsill or over the cot or something, depending on where you have him. But we have a blue elephant. A couple more. Next we have Chip the Cat. Um, his face... Ooh has little whiskers, I mean, look at this, he got tiny little whiskers, which, adorable, I mean, look, he's got tiny whiskers, uh, he's a little bit grassy, again, I like the whole coloured two-tone of him, or tri-coloured, um, his name is Chip, not really a fan of the name, but again, they are beanie babies, so they do have, like, little beads in them, so if you're going to give these to right little kids, I think they recommend the Aegis 3 Plus um, for the Beanie Babies because of the inside. If a kid was to bite it or something, they are recommended primarily for 3 Plus. Although you could use them for decorations in a baby's room as long as when they become a bit more, you know, 
active, you uh, move them. So unfortunately, this one doesn't have its original tag. His name is Scoop. Uh, again, it was retired in 1999. It is a McDonald's uh, teeny beeny baby. He does have his tag there, but he doesn't have his name tag. Unfortunately, at some point, I'm going to guess, it became detached. But his name is Scoop uh, because of his large pelican beak. When he's out in the water, the way he catches fish is by scooping up the water and catching the fish, hence the name Scoop. So we have that one. And then we have the last Beanie Baby. And again, this hippo did not have his uh, tag. And um, if I write the hippo was called Happy. It was Happy the Hippo. There were a couple of colours. There was a lavender, there was a dark purple, and each of them had different names, but the lavender one was called Happy. Again, you can see at some point his tag has come off, but he does have his other tag, which is something. Unfortunately, see, it was, as you can see here, manufactured for McDonald's Corporation. So these were the TY teeny beanie babies made for the McDonald's promotion back in the 90s. And you've got the little hippo. So that was everything I picked up. So we have a couple that don't have their tags. You've got Scoop and Happy. We obviously have Smoochie, who has the wrong tag. Let me know down below if that's worth anything because he's got the wrong tag. Then we have my three personal favourites, which is the ostrich, the anteater and the squirrel, were the first, first three I picked up. Then we have obviously kitties and what I would call a, a wolf. Then you have some birds, we've got the blue jay and we've got the chicken. And then you've got the elephant and another one of my personal favourites is the crab, just because I love the beach. And that was everything I picked up. So I got 12 teeny beanie babies for £20, they were three for a fiver which apparently isn't a bad price. Um, she did have a ton of them, and unfortunately I didn't have enough money to buy all of them. But if you'd like to help fund my teeny weeny baby collection that I would like to start, uh, links in the description to my PayPal, or if you'd like to give a super chat, a super thanks, or become a channel member for extra videos, Comment down below your favourite TY Beanie Baby if you collect them and let me know if Smoochie is worth something because he has the wrong tag. And I will see you soon for another video. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye guys.